Okay, to follow up on my last video, I'm just learning how to do this, so I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I was talking about the twin organs, the right and the left kidney. And I want you to see in this picture, um, I want you to notice the psoas muscle right here, and you can see it over here. So the kidneys sit just above or just on top of the psoas muscle. And the psoas muscle is a sympathetic muscle that is uh, tied into our fight, and fight or flight system. And so when we are in a state of fear, what happens is our psoas muscle is actually contracted and it actually pulls our kidneys back against that muscle, which creates what I call kind of like a boxer uh, position, standing position. And it's when our abdomen gets pulled in and our shoulders get kind of pulled forward. And this is actually a fear position. When our bodies are in a state of fear or terror, it is our body's natural instinct, our deep brain, to protect our organs from damage. And so part of the responsibility of the psoas is to pull the muscles in, up and inside of our rib cage, causing the psoas to kind of curl forward, our bodies to curl forward. This actually flattens the lower back, tucks the tailbone, and brings the shoulders forward, which can cause postural abnormalities. Okay, this is actually really fun doing these videos. Now I'm going to be addicted. Okay, so here are the emotions typically related with the kidneys and the bladder. You can see up here, blaming, fear, horror, wishy-washy, peeved. I would also put pissed in there, um, feeling unsupported. But fear is the main emotion that is related to the kidneys or dysfunction of the kidneys. So here is a picture of the kidney meridian, and you can see common uh, issues related with the kidney meridian. You can see that a lot of times, um, and this is very interesting, and if you don't follow me on Twitter, my handle is edawson78. I just posted about parathyroid issues um, being more common, and this is related to the kidney meridian. You can see parathyroid dysfunctions at the top, heart failure, slip disc, especially in the low back. And you can see over here on the other side, um, common issues with the kidney meridian, um, bladder issues, um, hiccups, solar plexus issues, diaphragm issues, breast disorders, and lung congestion. You can also uh, have a lot of hip, knee, and ankle pain associated with uh, kidney, kidney meridian issues. Here is a, an amazing drawing in relationship to how fear affects kidney chi or kidney energy. And you can see that fear kind of pulling in on that person and actually pushing those kidneys down and in like I discussed earlier with the psoas. So other common problems with the kidney, um, having too much calcium or too many oxalates in the body can cause kidney stones. That's probably the most common issue that people have with the kidneys. I mentioned postural problems, knee, hip, and foot pain. Bone and teeth issues are also highly related to the kidneys. Uh, parathyroid issue, bladder issues, and panic and other emotional issues such as depression or just kind of that lack of life or lack of zest of life. This is probably my favorite area to treat on the foot in regards to helping to heal the body. I love to treat this kidney point, which is called gushing springs or bubbling springs on the foot. And this is something that you can do for yourself at home. I love to use my tuning forks on this point on both the feet at the same time. Um, this is also a point that you can stimulate on your own. This helps to rejuvenate the and tonify the kidneys, and it helps um, to rejuvenate the adrenals. And I love to use essential oils on this point. Um, essential oils that I would use on this point would be, I use Young Living oils, and I, I can link um, these oils in the description. But I would use nutmeg, lemon, Juniper would probably be one of my top choices. Um, energy, 
or you can use any sort of grounding oils, pine oils, grand fir, um, uh, any sort of spruce or pine would also be great in this point. One thing that's really important to remember about the kidneys and the bladder is, have you ever noticed that when kids start walking, they become continent? And that is because when they start walking, there is a reflex between the bottom of the foot and the bladder to hold urine. And it's really important also for older adults when they become wheelchair bound and they stop walking, they start to usually deal with incontinence issues. And that's because this point isn't stimulated. And that brings me to my next point of grounding and how important it is for us to ground our feet into the earth. And this point is very important for um, when we have contact with the earth, grounding out positive charge ions in the body, which I discussed in a previous video, uh, how to ground in the winter on my YouTube channel, how important it is for us to get rid of those positive charge ions in our body as they build up throughout the day and how important it is for us to touch the earth. Here are some common symptoms of people who have low kidney chi energy. And here is some information on kidney jing or jing in the body. Jing promotes strength in the te teeth, hair, bones, and adrenals. And jing is actually something that you're born with from your parents. It's what you inherit. It's like that uh, natural essence that you that you inherit from both your mom and your dad. So if your mom was ill during her pregnancy or if your dad had issues, those are things that can be inherited um, just like you can inherit trauma. Uh, signs of low gene energy it, are infertility, um, decreased sperm count, low libido, back pain, uh, hair graying, decreased memory concentration, and um, a loss or brittleness in our bones and teeth. The kidneys are a water organ and work really hard between 5 and 7 p.m. So some amazing things that you could do to support your kidneys during that time would be adding a parsley tea. In this uh, infograph, you can see foods that help to bring your kidney back into balance, which I'll share some more about. Here is some information about parsley and how it can help heal and cleanse your Kidneys. You could also put um, parsley essential oil in a capsule and you could take that between 5 and 7 p.m. to help tonify and cleanse your kidneys. But what you can do is chop parsley in a boiling pan of water and kind of let the nutrients um, soak out and then you can drink it as a tea. Here are some foods and herbs to help support the kidneys. I'm a big fan of dandelion because it helps to cleanse the liver and the kidneys. Um, you can see too that there's uh, asparagus, ginger, and black skinned foods and um, dark skinned foods are amazing for building jing in the body and help tonify and cleanse and heal the kidneys. So blackberries, um, black quinoa, um, blueberries, black garlic, black beans, and beans are especially amazing for rebuilding kidney chi. Here are some other herbs that help with tonifying and healing the kidney. Marshmallow root, nettles, sarsaparilla. Again, there's dandelion. Milk thistle is amazing. Also great for the liver as well. Elderberry, which is amazing. I have fresh elderberry syrup at my office and there's parsley again. Some other amazing foods that you can add to help with your heal your kidneys are goji berries, astragalus root, marinda, uh, shisandra, cinnamon bark, ginseng, and reishi mushroom. I am going to be doing a video about positions like this that can help to um, heal, mobilize, and detoxify your kidneys, so stay tuned for that. Also, in my full script, I'm going to have my favorite kidney herbs and tinctures as well as nutrients that will help um, heal your kidneys. So there'll be a description if you're watching this on YouTube in the link below. And if you're watching this on TikTok, I will link it in the comments. Thank you. 
I'll also link all of these in my Pinterest board for you to look at.